A ridiculous! Oh, I have a question for Jim Neighbors. I'm also from Sulacog, Alabama, and I know what it means. Well, go all All right, we, we give up. What does it mean? It means buzzard roost in Indian. <laughs> buzzard roost? Did you know that? And that's why he wanted to say it. <laughs> but I had a I always thought it was buzzard droppings. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the interpretation was wrong. <laughs> oh, um, I'm kidding. I was curious if you had relatives there and if you ever went back to visit. I sure do. Uh, my sister lives there and all my aunts and uncles and everybody. I'm the only one that left. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Linda Henning, Betty Jo, Petticoat Junction. And isn't she gorgeous? Oh, thank you. still recognize you and say Betty Jo. Yes, they do. It's very nice. It surprises me. I'm not, I, I don't expect it anymore, but they do. And uh, sometimes in very strange ways or strange places. Such as? <laughs> don't tell me the gynecologist. Close. Close? No, I, I had had uh, an a appendicitis attack and I was taken to the emergency hospital. It was very early in the morning. My doctor hadn't arrived at the hospital yet and there were all the interns and residents, so they take turns examining you, you know, and unfortunately when you're having an appendicitis attack, the examinations you get are rather thorough. And during one of these, uh, the guy said, you know, you look awfully familiar. Haven't I seen you on television? And I thought, oh. <laughs> not then. Right? Yes. Not now. Not oh, yeah. I've had them come into my hotel room when I've been in a towel or uh, something like that. Yeah. And they go, you, you, don't I? You, don't you, I know you? you? But Absolutely. most people are really wonderful and very nice, and it's very flattering to be recognized. Well, I think you deserve it. Lulu, let's get to you. Hee-haw. <laughs> there is no mistaking your look. It's the size, honey. It's not the look. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think people laugh when they see you just because of that? Are they laughing with you or at you? Is I guess most of the time they're laughing with us. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> We're the ones who laugh at us. We're talking about typecasting. Mm -hmm. Did you feel typecast? Well, when I first got the job, uh, you know, I'd been working in, in New York and uh, working on Broadway and off Broadway. And I read for the part on a Tuesday and they flew me out Wednesday and, and we did the screen test Friday morning, John and I. And ten days later we were shooting in Georgia, about not too far from here, actually, by Conyers. And uh, what I was more worried about was just that I, I wanted to be able to do other things, you know. And uh, but has it been a liability, Tom? Eh, it's been kind of worked both ways. It's opened some doors, and at the same time, it's still hard to be taken seriously. Uh, there's a certain uh, tendency that when you work on a country-oriented show, that people don't take you seriously as an actor. They're not going to ask you and George to do no coward. Well, they won't confuse us with Olivia and Gilgood. No. <laughs> I'd like to ask since they sing so well, could we? To think oh, I think that may be a bit unfair. Can I? Uh, I don't know what to do about you. I had to get them off the hook. There are things called rights and union fees and musicians and stuff like that, and, and I'm sure they would like to do it, but there's no way. Thank you. I was wondering if you ever met anybody in real life that you could later inspire you in any of the scripts or when you were reading through that you thought, well, they act like that. I'm going to put that into this part. You steal from real oh, human beings. Yes. Oh, sure. oh, 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 oh. Yes. Well, not yes. me. Well, I steal from my relatives. <laughs> Do you? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, not me. This just comes natural. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't have enough going on my own. <laughs> I'd like to ask Lulu what caused us to change your past lifestyle and become a born-again Christian. Well, I came out of an orphan's home at a very young age with a real bad attitude. I was real um, hurt and lonely and didn't understand why 
I would be allowed to be born without a mother or a father and, and have someone that would love me and felt very unloved. So I literally went crazy and became involved very heavily in the drug scene. And uh, I had a, a great chain of events that led to my uh, relationship with Jesus, and that's what's changed my life. Wait, Louie, Louie, were you a bad girl? I was a terrible girl. Baywood. <laughs> Baywood. Baywood, uh-huh. It's about and, 20, 30 miles outside of Baton Rouge. Ah, uh, Baton Rouge. Yeah. Uh, and, and, uh, Jim, could you give us a golly? <laughs> golly! <laughs> how did that come about? Uh, Jim, how did Shazam and Golly come about? I, w I just had lived it one day during a rehearsal, and, uh, uh, they decided to keep it in there, you know, and I just did it on, when the camera was going. What about I Shazam? Had, I had, excuse me. What? what about Shazam? Well, I just made that up too one day, you know. <laughs> so they Very just creepy. left it in the show. And, but I was going to tell you a, a funny story that, you know, you were asking about being recognized as the people we are if we're always in character. I was, uh, this happened to me at O'Hare Field just recently. It was real crowded at, and I was waiting on a plane. And I noticed a few people looking at me, but nobody asked for an autograph or anything. Finally, this one little elderly lady walked over to me. She had a real thick Jewish accent. And I can't do a Jewish accent, you know, I can barely do mine. <laughs> but uh, she came over, she couldn't remember my name. She knew it was Gomer or Goober or something like that. You know, she says, you're the one on TV, Goobers, Gobers. And finally she said, whose piles are you? <laughs> Questions to go, uh, Jim and George. Are you all married? Do you have kids? And hello, you're beautiful. <laughs> all right, maybe this is a good time to run down uh, the thing that people seem to want to know. If I can ask you, uh, starting with Ellie May, married? No, single now, available, just like Ellie. Have you been married? And do you have children? Uh, yes, I was married when I was 17, going on 12, got a son. Okay. Uh -huh. well, Jim, let's go down the. No, I'm not married. I live in Hawaii, and I'm a farmer. I raise macadamia nuts and flowers. And, uh, George? I, I just got uh, unmarried. He's available, too. Any children? <laughs> I have two. One, a son who's an actor, and I have a daughter. It's in the mid. Linda? Uh, I'm not married now, but I was married to my co-star on Petticoat Junction for five years. And the guy that I married on the show, I really married. It was... Uh, a family affair. <laughs> They're all saying, oh. Uh -uh. Lulu? I'm married and I have two sons. Two wonderful boys. <laughs> Tom? Um, Sit uh, over there and say you're not married. I'm kind of in George's position here. I'm kind of unmarried. <laughs> you're getting unmarried. <laughs> All they wanted to hear. Hi, my question is more for Tom. Um, I know that you sing a lot of country music now. Are you concentrating more on your country music or acting? Well, I live in Nashville, so I'd have to say I'm kind of concentrating on the country music. We're going back in the studio sometime in the next month or two. But uh, they keep calling me back out west. I just did a series this last fall with Lindsey Wagner called oh, Peaceable Kingdom. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. Thank you. So. I guess I kind of keep them both going, but uh, we're planning on coming down here and doing some uh, playing down here somewhere. You got a, a country bar down here somewhere, don't you? Some honky tonk. <laughs> we'll, we'll be down. Keep an eye out. Uh, I'm Beverly McEachin from Hazelhurst, Georgia, and we just want to tell you we love you in Hazelhurst, Georgia. Thank you. Quite a nice yeah. thing. Right. Go. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate the part that y'all played. In my childhood, because I watched a lot of the shows, you know, that, uh, uh, and there were such good shows. Thanks. Thank you. What is the draw? <laughs> I think that's an excellent question. What is the draw of the country shows? What did they have? What I can tell you love? what it is, okay? What? It is the loyalty of the country heart. That's what hey, it is. That's right. What's that mean, Tom? Well, it's, uh... What does that it's, mean? It's, it's all tied in actually with country music also. The country music mm -hmm. fan is the most loyal music yes, fan are. in the business. And, and a thing, another thing about country Next shows that gospel. I've always felt, yeah, but uh, another <laughs> thing that I've always felt is that they're geared towards the family yeah, and they involve right. the family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. And it shows a family in a positive way. Right. Very much so. Well, 
Of course. Oh, Tom, with all due respect, on your show, The Dukes of Hazard, there was a lot of TNA. Now, if you don't uh, know what there, there, was, there was very little sex going on. She wore, she wore uh, pantyhose under her shorts, you know, it was no big deal. <laughs> but I mean, that there was, was... <laughs> there was no... The boys never went out on a date, hardly. There was no cussing. There was, uh, we said grace before meals. I thought it was yeah. wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> experience, uh, I think a lot of people related to us. I know I got a lot of letters from kids who said when they went home from school, they would play Petticoat Junction and they would be me or one of the girls. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of kids could identify with us. We led a mm -hmm. life that a lot of people led, you know, it wasn't that unusual. Yes, we had some, you know, different experiences, but I think that's one of the reasons why shows like mm -hmm. ours are popular. It, George, it has a lot to do with people relating to you or to the character you play or to the image that you yes. wear. I do probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 gospel concerts a year. And everywhere I go, someone comes out of the crowd and said, We had a hee-haw Sunday and I played Lulu. Nah. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's right. That's George, right. are we more Beverly Hillbillies than we are Mary Tyler Moore? Is America more country than it is anything so. else? It's more oh, rural. It's yes. more rural. It's, okay. it's, it's rural. just this yeah. country in Connecticut, Pennsylvania, That's right. parts of Florida, That's right. uh, as it is in Alabama and Georgia and Tennessee. That's true. That's right. But Jim, Small town. aren't these shows caricatures? I mean, was there anything real about these kind of shows? There's, a lot. Oh, oh, there's an awful people lot of real that. things on <laughs> Hee Haw, honey, and it's still going real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, people used to ask yeah. me where I got the character Gomer, and actually it was just uh, a lot of my relatives and a lot of mm -hmm. friends. It was <laughs> just all mixed together, but it was very real. And uh, when I read for the show, every, uh, Andy, I remember Andy uh, said had to tell the, they thought I was too far out. You know, because Bob Lockett. You know, and uh, so they said, uh, but the producer said, well, I think that's too exaggerated. And Andy looked at him and he says, there are a lot of old boys down home like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. I have a question for all of y'all. Most of y'all were taping during the 60s and 70s. Were y'all involved in uh, the drug scene? I was. Back then, I was uh, normally what people would refer to nowadays as a hippie doing country show. Yes, I was. What about you, Linda? No, I was uh, in. I was a teenager when I got to Petticoat Junction, and I was so busy. Before that, I was doing a lot of theater, and I was a ballet dancer. So I was always busy working and rehearsing. And we worked seven years on the show, and we used to do 39 shows a year in those days. So we worked all the time, and I didn't really have time. And I guess. I was fairly naive, but I really wasn't that aware of it, at least early on I wasn't, and then when I was aware of it, I wasn't <coughs> interested in it. Linda, was Sharon Tate one of the first women on the Petticoat Junction? Yes, uh, she was our original Billy Joe, but uh, she didn't do the show, uh, there was a conflict, she did something that they felt really was, she did a Playboy uh, layout and they thought for a family show that wasn't a real good idea so she was replaced i just wanted to ask all of you this question are all of y'all as proud as we are to be southerners that's a good question are you proud to be southerners i am yes, i'll I am. start off sure. then yes it's a joy it's a joy to do LMA and it's a joy to be a southern i think that we have sort of american dream i think that's something else that uh the shows that make them popular is the American Dream, and I think the Hillbillies certainly had that. You bet. Jim? That I wouldn't know how to be anything else. Yeah. George? I, I never could have gotten a job if I didn't talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, take a break. We'll be right back.